Uh, hello there. Welcome to the first uh, screencast for learning to s learning CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it is used to separate presentation from content on a web page. In this class, in the first screencast, we're going to see introduction to CSS and how we can apply CSS to our existing HTML page. Now I have put an HTML page over here using the five basic tags studied earlier and some other additional tags for headings, paragraphs and ordered list. Now this page renders in the browser like this, which is quite normal. And let's go back and see how we can apply CSS. CSS usually adds presentation. Presentation includes colors, patterns, backgrounds, typography, fonts, styles and layouts, layouts of different components on a page and styling those components. Let's start with the first thing which is the source location. Now how do, where do we define our CSS? How do we add CSS to our existing HTML page? Now the first thing we learned in HTML is we can add an attribute called style which will style the given tag. Now this is actually CSS this is called inline CSS and how do how did we do that was we added an attribute called style and then within that attribute we put properties and values now properties can be like color red where color is the property and red is the value we can add more property value pairs to this by separating them with a semicolon for example over here I'll say font size say 50 pixels okay now we can we can add a semicolon at the end but it's usually mm, not required if it's the last font if it's the last property that you're defining we don't need the semicolon at the end okay now let's go back and see our page which will look like this that means it changed the color and it didn't change the font size because I put the equal over here I put the semicolon let's go back and see that it changed the size as well so this is called inline styles inline styles means you're adding the style attribute to your page over here okay now this is not advisable because it only applies to this tag so if I want to use the same style to be applied to all other h1 tags it's not possible I'll have to copy and paste it which is not a good idea so the other way of doing this is using the style attribute style tags within the head tag now this style tag will define all styles that can be applied to a page all styles that can be applied to page. Now, how do we write that? How the syntax of this is? Let's say I want to apply the same style that is color red and font size 50 pixel to all H1 tags. So I'll put H1 first, open a bracket, and then say color red, and then say font size 50 pixel. Okay, and close this. This code will apply this properties to all h1 tags available for us so if we go back and see in our page you can see that it applies to all h1 tags so what we did over here is we used the same property and value pairs but put them into a pair of brackets and highlighted them with a selector this h1 is usually referred to as the selector which is the most important part of in CSS which defines which element these set of styles apply to for example another one let's say I want to change the style of my paragraphs let's say font style let's say I want to put them as italics okay as I told you earlier we can remove the if it's the only one we don't need to put the semicolon similarly with here we don't need to put that so and it still works so if we go back and see our page you'll see that all my paragraphs are italicized now because it's now applied to the whole page so the advantage of using the style or this this type of CSS is called embedded CSS this was inline 
this is embedded embedded within the page itself or it can also be called as internal CSS because we're putting that inside a page the advantage of applying using this is that this style can be applied to the whole page wherever possible now there is the third one the last one which is called external we define the whole CSS tags within an external file okay now let's go ahead and create a new file and then let's save that file as a CSS file it's a good practice to put all your CSS files within a folder called CSS okay so I'm going to put over here my CSS file my style dot CSS and then save it now let's say I want to just copy all these tags that I have written over here and then paste them over here because the CSS file usually consists of the same way you write your styles within the head tag using the style okay now this so this is our CSS now, let's <clears throat> the only thing remaining now is connecting those two files together now I have to connect my style.css to this current HTML file now how do we do that we use a link tag inside the link tag we provide a rel which defines which type of file we are linking and we have a lot of them so we use style sheet for now and then we define the location of our page we use the href tag similar to what we used in anchor or for hyperlinking you can see that we put all, all the CSS file inside a folder called CSS so that's why I'm going to put CSS slash and then my style dot CSS there's another attribute which is called type which defines which type of style sheet you are attaching so you can just say text slash CSS now link is actually a self closing stack so that's why we use this at the end now this means that we have connected our CSS file with our HTML page so now if I go back and just do refresh you can see that the same styles are still applied okay so it's connected now the advantage of using an external CSS file is that you can apply the same style to any page which it is connected to. Now suppose I open this page now which is a blank page. Now suppose within this page I again have an H1 tag. Okay. Again another H1 tag. Say hello world. And another paragraph I say this is a paragraph. Okay. And I connect and I connect my CSS over here using the same thing I did earlier okay. Okay. and then type which is text.css so now I'm doing the same thing now let's, let's open that in our see that the same style is applied so now using an external file can apply the same style to multiple pages which we do sometimes if you're creating a website with many pages using the same set of styles so this is the end we had three different ways or three different ways uh, location of defining our CSS the first one was inline inline if you apply if you put the style inside the tag itself the other one was uh, once internal or embedded where we put a style tag within our head tag and put all our styles over there now the final one the last one was putting it in external file these are the three different locations where we can put that now the syntax of a CSS this all these items are called rules of CSS now a rule usually consists of a selector and a set of property and values separated by a semicolon if you have multiple of them and you have a single you don't need to put a semicolon each selector defines which element you need to select from your HTML page to apply the style to so over here I'm applying this styles to h1 and this style to b and you can add as many rules as you want within this page okay 
and the next screencast we're going to see the different types of selectors now these are one types of selectors we have many different types of selectors